A camera is added under the ID, previously chosen in the IP device discovery wizard. You can activate or deactivate a camera, by setting the corresponding value in the Enable field. To exclude unused cameras from licensing, you are advised to deactivate them. After you create a camera within the system, you cannot change its model and firmware version in the object settings. To change these, you have to recreate the camera. If necessary, you can change such camera settings as its IP address, port number, login and password. If you add a camera with the parameters specified through the web interface, you cannot change such settings as video stream resolution, video codec, and other video stream settings. These values can be changed using the send settings to device function. You can configure fisheye cameras in the Panamorph section. In the Alternative View field, select any camera from the current Axon domain to replace the video feed from the given camera if it goes offline. Its video feed is displayed in the camera window. The indicator in the upper right corner displays the current time and recording status. A red letter R indicates that video is currently being recorded into the footage archive. A crossed out letter R indicates that no archive is set up for recording. For multi-streaming cameras, you can set up two separate video streams, high and low quality, only if you select the send video settings to the camera checkbox. If necessary, the camera's video stream can be recompressed into the motion wavelet format. To enable this, select Yes in the Adaptive Video Stream field and set the required vertical and horizontal resolution. Click the Apply button to save changes. You can select any of the two streams for recording to archive. Also you can select any of the two streams for live viewing and recording. It was information on Axon Next Camera Settings.